If you want to get flexible fast, then this is the perfect routine for you. I challenge you to follow along daily for at least 14 days and feel free to track your progress in the comments. Let's get started with a quick warm up. We are going to start by simply reaching from side to side. This warm up section is super important because it will help you get deeper into the stretches later on in this routine. Next up is standing twists. Even though we are just beginning, I know you can finish this whole routine. Just think of how accomplished you will feel once you are finished and how it will help to improve your flexibility. Now we are going to do some kicks back and forth. These do not have to be super high, they are just to warm up your legs a bit. Switch legs to repeat the kicks on the other side. Now we're going to do two neck circles in each direction. Feel free to take your time with these to fully stretch out your neck. Next is side lunges again to warm up your legs. Continue doing your side lunges except now reach one hand towards its opposite ankle while you go down into your lunge. Next, we are going to do some inchworms, so place your hands on the ground, then walk out into a plank and repeat. If this is too intense on your hamstrings, you can always bend your legs. Keeping your hands on the ground, we are going to finish up our warm up with some backwards kicks. Repeat the kicks on your other leg.
last exercise of this warm up, we are going to hold a high plank. If you're not used to doing planks, this might be a little challenging, but it will get easier the more often you do this routine. This is a great exercise to get your full body warmed up. Now you should be fully warmed up, so let's move on to some stretches for flexibility. First up will be some hip stretches starting with a butterfly stretch while reaching from side to side. If you find some of these stretches a bit too challenging, I'll be showing beginner modifications on the right side. Remaining in your butterfly stretch, reach as far forward as you can to get a deeper stretch in your hips. Next, place your legs out into as deep of a straddle as you can do. Once you are in your straddle, reach one arm to its opposite side. Goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind. It's just life. It's okay for my sanity to choose perfect peace. And now for it. Now reach to the other side. Solving in the universe, working itself out. All that I have is all that I need. But to Still staying in your straddle, rotate your hips towards one leg and then reach over top of that leg. Are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. It's okay for myself. Forever and always be present. We are now going to reach to the center of your straddle. And for our final stretch in the straddle, reach over top of your other leg. To stay here all night, I wonder, do you feel it too? Magic between me and you, the way that you make me feel. You wonder if I feel the same, the blood's rushing through your veins. And then when I say your name, bet I'm there. Rotate your hips to one side and then bend in the front leg to go into a pigeon stretch. You should be feeling a deep stretch in your outer hip of the bent leg. We are already halfway through this routine, so you can do this. You 
We are now going to repeat the stretch we just did on your other leg. This will be our final hip flexibility stretch before moving into some leg flexibility stretches. Next up, we will be doing a lunge, letting your legs sink as close to the ground as you can. You can also place your elbows on the ground for a deeper stretch. Reach back and bend the back leg of your lunge for a deep stretch in your back thigh. You can now let go of your back leg and then straighten out the front one while reaching over top of it to go into a backwards lunge. Deep down in the start of light, that I die, I can hide. Next, go into a downward dog, pushing your chest towards your legs to feel a stretch in your hamstrings. You should also be trying to push your heels towards the ground. Now we are going to repeat the lunge we did before except on your other leg. It is so important to do this to keep both sides as even as possible. Bend in the back leg of your lunge like we did before. Next up is the backwards lunge.
go back up into your downward dog, but this time lift one heel at a time to stretch out your feet and also feel a deeper stretch in the straight leg. Go into a standing pike stretch by walking your hands and feet as close together as you can. During this, you should be keeping a flat back, not rounding it. You can also grab onto your ankles and try to pull your chest even closer to your legs for a deeper stretch. We are going to move into some back stretches starting with cat cow. To do this stretch, go onto your hands and knees and then arch back as far as you can and contract. Staying on your hands and knees, reach one arm up and then across your body. We are going to repeat that same stretch except reaching the other arm. Now stand on your knees and arch back as far as you can to do a knee back bend. This is a great back stretch. The way I'm demonstrating this is a pretty advanced version, so feel free to do the beginner's version on the right side by arching back without reaching your arms over your head. Didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here We are now going to go into a child's pose. Only two stretches left until you have completely finished this routine, so no point in stopping now. Next, we're going to do a seal stretch, so simply arch back as far as you can, starting by laying on your stomach. Lay all the way down on your stomach and then bend your legs. Once your legs are bent, reach back to grab anywheres between your ankle and knee and then lift up your legs as much as you can.
was our final stretch, so congrats, you have completed the routine. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you back tomorrow.